Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. Today is Friday Sews. And I finished my pin tuck dress. It's what I've been working on last week. It's a little big right here in the in the arms. I need to take this in a little bit. But other than that, I love it. I made it out of a out of a cotton, 100% cotton fabric from Joann's. And I was even able to just slip it on. I didn't put any kind of closure in the back. And I'm able to just put it over my head and put it on. And I lined the whole dress because it was a little bit see-through. And I did the um, the burrito method that Jen at Today and Jen Sewing Room showed us. And if I can figure out how to link her video, I'll put that in the description box because I love that burrito hack. And if anybody can tell me how to do that in the comments, please let me know. I'm still trying to figure out how to put a link in the description box that actually works. So um, I used um, my pattern for the pin tucks, this one, to do the dress. And I cut that on the fold. And I use this and cut it on the fold to do the back. And then did, and then I just did the burrito method, which gives you a, a finished which gives you the nice finished edge. I just love it. It's so comfortable. I think I want to go back and add patch pockets right here. I love pockets. I don't know why I didn't do that. I was just excited to finish it. Here's a view. Okay, I want to show you the inside of how I did the burrito method. I'll turn it inside out. So you can see the lining. Here's the inside. And I did the under stitching. It just this is this is the inside of the dress and it just looks beautiful. I just did the inside lining with the same fabric as the dress. And it just gives a beautiful finish to the inside. See the sleeves? And this is the inside. And now here's the outside with the pin tucks. Here's the lining. That's the lining, and I made the lining a little bit shorter than the dress so we wouldn't see it. I am so pleased. I love that burrito method. It's so cool. And I even found flip flops at the Dollar Tree to match my dress. Because in Florida, it's pretty much flip flop weather almost all year round. Maybe a few days out of the year that you can't wear flip-flops. So perfect little dress to wear around the house. So that's what I've been sewing this week. I also made, I just uploaded a video earlier this week on how to make these hanging towels for the oven door. And in the future, I will be making this beautiful blanket for my new granddaughter who's coming in April, at the end of April. So I'm gonna sew one side with this beautiful floral pattern and the other side with this minky fabric. I can't wait to make that. So I'll let you know how that goes. I might even do a tutorial on how to do this. And I still wanna try and tackle this, this dress I haven't made a muslin of this yet to see how it's going to fit me, but I really want to make this using this fabric. So I have those in the plans and I still want to make more dresses and, and I still want to make this. I got to find some good fabric to make this. 
So I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I am up to 231 subscribers. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It makes my day. I'm so happy. I just can't believe this wonderful community of sewing YouTubers out there and all the people that want to learn to sew. I just love this channel. I just love making these videos and reading your comments. And I just thank you so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you. Y'all have a wonderful weekend and have a so blessed day. Thank you for joining me today. Bye for now.